I wasn't even going to make a video on this, but I just watched the gameplay reveal for Marvel's Midnight Suns, and I think it looks really solid. I know from the thumb up to thumb down ratio, a lot of people are upset. I believe it's because there's a card system and because it's not an action game. But guys, I mean, we just got an Avengers game not too long ago. It was kind of disappointing, but we have Guardians of the Galaxy later this year. We just had Spider-Man. Ultimate Alliance wasn't that long ago either. I don't know, I just think it's cool having a variety of Marvel games. I don't need every game to be an action game. And maybe my excitement for this game after seeing this trailer doesn't match the general consensus, but I don't know, what can you do? I'm pretty excited for it. Now, I thought the initial cinematic trailer was really awesome looking. I love the character designs. The story seemed interesting, but then after that, some stuff started coming out that the game wasn't really that similar to XCOM, which is what the rumors were beforehand that I covered here on the channel. And I saw that there was a card system, and honestly, I'm really not into card systems in games or, or cards in general. So I wasn't very excited for the gameplay reveal for Midnight Suns, but it honestly got me so hyped. First off, I'm really happy this game is coming to Nintendo Switch. It hadn't even crossed my mind that it would come to Nintendo Switch because so many third-party games like this end up skipping Switch. So I'm glad they're bringing it to the platform, and hopefully it launches day and date with the other platforms. We've seen way too many times the Switch version get delayed. I hope it's day one. But anyway, on to the reveal. Right off the bat, graphically the game isn't super impressive when you first see it. However, whenever they show off some of these special attacks, they are mind-numbingly beautiful. I cannot believe how awesome they look. Seeing the special abilities from characters like Iron Man and Nico from The Runaways, which was a huge surprise. I love that character from the TV show, and I was not expecting to see her in a video game, and it looks like she's one of the main characters, so that's really awesome. I hope the character continues to show up in other things, and I would love if they brought that actress from the TV show into the MCU movies. I think she did a great job. But anyway, the special attacks look amazing and make up for any shortcomings that the character models have or that the cutscenes have have when it comes to the visuals. If you didn't know, this game is a turn-based RPG and it's heavily focused on character relationships, similar to a game I would say like Dragon Age or even Persona, because with Persona, your relationships with the characters directly affect the combat, and that's exactly what's happening in Midnight Suns. You'll be able to talk to all of the characters inside of this hub, and it goes into a third-person mode, which I really like, and I haven't played a ton of the studio's past games, I only dabbled in XCOM, but this seems a lot different than anything they've ever done before. I cannot wait to get to know all of these characters and see how these relationships actually affect the gameplay and what they allow your character to do on the battlefield. Now unfortunately they confirmed that you cannot have any romance relationships in the game however they did say that you can be very 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 close with them I'm not sure exactly what that means, kinda sounds like it's romance. I'm assuming that the team wanted to do something like this, but the fact that it's not their characters and their IP, I'm sure Marvel had some stipulations against that. I'm sure Marvel didn't want this new Marvel character romancing random characters in the Marvel Universe, but I still think it would have been really awesome. Now you in the game, you're actually playing as someone who's from centuries ago being reawakened I'm assuming to take down your own mother, who is the main antagonist of the game. It's pretty obvious that they have a history of battling each other. I'm assuming that something went down centuries ago, and it's said that your character actually won the battle. But now that your mom is back, they awaken you, and you're coming back. You join the Midnight Suns, and you're going to take her down. And in the process, you're going to go to a bunch of different locations. They showed off New York City, a Hydra bunker, and even hell where you're fighting off like demons or something. It looks like it's going to get pretty crazy. Now, they didn't do an extended gameplay look, so I still have questions on how the combat works. Apparently, you only have three other people in your crew, so that's kind of disappointing. I was hoping to utilize a bunch of Marvel characters, but maybe the game will give you a reason to swap out characters often. Personally, I end up using the same characters the whole game once I find the ones I like, but hopefully the game gives me a reason to switch things up. But yeah, this has pretty much been my reaction. I didn't do a live reaction because, once again, I wasn't really that excited for this game, but now I'm actually really excited. A story-driven Marvel game, and apparently it's going to cover the darker themes of the Marvel Universe. So that's really exciting. I love dark Marvel, Netflix Marvel shows, rest in peace. But yeah, I'm still wondering where some other heroes are. I'm sure there's still plenty more to come. I want to see Daredevil. I would love to see Spider-Man. That might be difficult considering he swings on things. And with this perspective on the battlefield, I guess they could have him swinging from the clouds, kind of like Spider-Man PS1. But I don't know. There's still some big hitters that are missing. But with that said, I love seeing smaller characters get to shine like Nico from The Runaways and the Robbie Ray's version of Ghost Rider. It's really cool seeing him in this. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Be be sure to let me know what you think down in the comments section below. Are you excited to have deep and thoughtful, non-romantic relationships with Marvel characters? Because I surely am. And I was just floored by the cinematic special abilities. They look freaking awesome. So yeah, let me know what you think. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up. If you didn't, hit that thumbs down. 
Thanks for watching. I will talk to you guys later. See ya.